Happy Sunday, guys. I told y'all, actually, I said it would be next Wednesday, Thursday at the outside that he'd be doing a live stream bitching about catching restraining orders number nine and ten. However, it appears that Long Island Audit played F around and find out with the top cop of Nassau County's wife at home while slandering his name, and now he's getting arrested. Oh, happy Sunday. Enjoy. We'll be covering this tonight. Hey, what's up, guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Fellow patriots and freedom lovers, I have never seen this level of tyranny and corruption before. This video will shock you. As you watch this video, I want you to keep in mind that this did not take place in a country like Venezuela or North Korea. This is happening in Nassau County, New York, in the United States of America, our country. On Friday, September 22nd, the Nassau County 3rd Precinct Detective Squad let my attorney Jacob Uriel know that they issued a warrant for my arrest and wanted me to surrender. My attorney informed the detectives that Judge Norman Samet had signed eight stay-away protective orders petitioned to the court by the District Attorney and Donnelly's office. Two of the protective orders were against Nassau County police officers, one of which was Kenneth Keller the same officer who unlawfully arrested me, stole my camera equipment, and violated my constitutional rights. The judge ordered that I must stay away from their place of business, which is the Nassau County Police Department. So legally, I cannot go there for any reason whatsoever. My attorney is also on vacation out of the country, and I had already informed the court that I was going to be on vacation with my family as well. My attorney suggested we set something up for after we both get back from vacation and after we get the judge to modify the protective order for me to be able to legally go to the police department. Later that same day, Police Commissioner Patrick Ryder, who I am currently investigating for corruption and abuse of power allegations, ordered 15 plainclothes Nassau County police detectives in unmarked vehicles to cross into Suffolk County to arrest me on a retaliatory warrant. Well, a couple things off the bat. One, it's not retaliatory. If you think it is, it's not. You broke the law. You trespassed at his house. You doxed his personal residence. You threatened his wife. You went to his home in the middle of the day when you knew he was at work because unlike your scumbag ass, he has a job. You're a piece of trash, Reyes. You did this for clickbait, and now you, it looks like you're going to get to go back to prison. This is what happens when you play F around and find out. And you're not investigating anybody. You didn't come up with these slanderous charges until you got arrested for breaking the law. And this is how you respond. Instead of owning your fuck up and saying, hey, you know what? I was wrong. But no, you want to fall in love with your own YouTube character? Fine. They'll love it when you go back to prison. Enjoy bitch watch, bitch. And I haven't seen the warrant, but we were told that it was for criminal trespassing in the third degree, a misdemeanor. Apparently, they are charging me for when I went back to the Department of Social Services, and I wasn't overtly recording. During this visit, I spoke to a couple of Nassau County officers and public servants. No one asked me to stop recording. No one asked me to leave the premises. And frankly, no one seemed to have any issue whatsoever with me being there. This warrant is completely fabricated. I will leave a link in the description below to the video of the incident in question so you can see for yourselves. How Supreme Leader Ryder was able to get a district attorney and a judge to sign off on this is terrifying. I would guess it's the same judge who granted the stay. Stop breaking the law, asshole! Stay away protective orders against me for peacefully recording and asking questions of my government, Judge Norman Samet. As soon as I get the actual warrant, I will share it with all of you. While Gestapo Ryder's secret police were looking for me in another county on a low-level, non-violent misdemeanor warrant. They unlawfully stopped my tenant while he was driving, demanded his ID under threat of arrest, and told him, quote, he wasn't the person they were looking for. Two days later, I was driving home from 7-Eleven, and as I made the turn onto my street, a dark color sedan tried to run me off the road. I instinctively avoided the crash and continued home. 
You mean where you tried to flee and evade the police who have a lawful warrant for your arrest? When I looked back, I saw the sedan who almost crashed into me turning around rapidly toward me. I began to worry for my safety and the safety of my family, so I parked my car and ran inside the house to alert them of the incoming danger. Warning, if you care about our freedom and our rights, the footage you are about to watch is very disturbing. You're right, it is very, very disturbing that without your camera, when confronted by another man, what do you do? You run away like the fat, man girdle, car bra needing bitch that you are, Sean. After the unidentified man spoke to his accomplice, they both drove away. Approximately an hour later, several law enforcement officers were outside of my home. Nassau County officers were in plain clothes and unmarked vehicles. Suffolk County officers were in their uniforms and marked vehicles. Five law enforcement officers came to my front door, but unfortunately for Emperor Patrick Ryder, I had already left on a pre-planned family vacation. So in the hour since you ran away from the police, like the bitch you are, uh, you gathered up your family and went on a vacation, but you knew that you were going on vacation running away from a warrant. Are you that big a power coward, Sean? Seriously? You are such a bitch. My name is Sergeant Grillo at the Nassau County Police Department. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Paul Reyes. He has a warrant for his arrest. Hey, Sean, I'm sure you're hiding in the attic right now, but I don't think their cops are going to be able to hear you tell them that you're not there from the attic. You might need to go to the door and tell them you're not there. Just saying. Just trying to help. I want you all, my fellow patriots, to know that as of now, I am safe from these corrupt tyrants. Sources tell me that ever since I started exposing Commissioner Ryder, he has been banging the drum internally to have me arrested for anything in order to get me to stop investigating and to retaliate against me. Ryder stop breaking the law, asshole! wanted me arrested immediately, so I would have to spend the entire weekend in his prison camp until I could see a judge Monday morning. 
You're lucky that's all he wants to do is throw you in jail. Because if you'd come to my house and stalked and harassed my wife, I guarantee you, jail would be the absolute least of your concerns, Sean. You need to keep that in mind. You went to a cop's house knowing he wasn't there to harass his wife. You are a known violent convicted felon. And you went to a house that should that had all but a front sign out front that says, hey, a gun lives here. You're a moron. This thug mentality coming from the leader of a police department should terrify all of us. A journalist is being hunted down by men with guns for asking important questions regarding serious corruption and abuse of power allegations. Let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. We the people need to come together and unite as one against this blatant tyranny and expose it to the world. I promise all of you that I will not be threatened or silenced by this gang. I will continue to peacefully exercise my First Amendment rights to promote transparency and accountability within our government. I will be speaking with the New York State Attorney General's Police Misconduct Unit, as well as the FBI, regarding the serious corruption and tyranny that we have seen here today. Well, what about when you're speaking to the IRS when they're investigating you for tax evasion? Are you going to run away from them too, like the bitch you are? And that we have seen in previous videos, all perpetrated by the Nassau County Police Department. If you'd like to peacefully petition your grievances to your government, all public contact information is in the description below. Remember, this is your First Amendment right to do so. It wouldn't be the first time, Nassau County. Bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island Audit. Peace. Well, there you have it, guys. Ray has played F around and find out. And now he's literally hiding from the cops. And he should be hiding. Well, he wouldn't be hiding if he was a grown man, a real man, and not a bitch. But, you can, you know, he calls police armed thugs. But yet he's the one with a conviction for armed robbery when he was trying to be with a gang. Yeah. So who's the real thuglet here, Reyes? You are such a cut little beta bitch boy. Chili's more of a man than you are. All right, guys, this Wrangler, I'm out of here. I'll get this out to you as soon as I can. Everybody have a good one. Have I love y'all. See ya.